Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? Today, I'm gonna show you three of my favorite automations that you can start selling today. I'm gonna show you where you can sell them, how you can get access to them, and then I'm gonna walk you through exactly what they do and how they're built. So let's just hop right in and let's get started. This AI agent will basically take those sources and it'll write everything for you in your own tone of voice. It'll basically go down one of two different routes if you need an image or not. And then on a schedule you set, it'll actually publish to LinkedIn. So you can have fresh content every single day, completely on autopilot without you needing to sit behind the computer and manually type away at everything. Now, before I show you the automations, let me show you where you can sell these. AI automation is blowing up right now. And Upwork is one of the best places to find clients. Like literally look at all of these you know, job postings eight minutes ago, posted 49 minutes ago, posted one hour ago. Literally, people are constantly looking for someone who knows AI automation right now. It is one of the most valuable skills that you can have. It is absolutely blowing up. What's cool about Upwork is you can come in here. You can also set your rate. You can set your hourly, hourly rate and you can even set a fixed price. Like if you don't want to take jobs for less than 5K, you can go ahead and you can select this and you can see all the high paying jobs that are up here on Upwork. You can see this estimated budget, $10,000 for this. There's a lot of money to be made here. One of the other places that you can sell, you know, these automations is where I've been selling them. I've been selling them on Gumroad. You can see just in the last 30 days alone, I've made almost $2,400. So you can package up these automations and you can sell them as digital products. Now, I ask that you don't take the automations I share with you today and just simply repurpose them and repackage them on Gumroad. But if you want to make changes and you want to adapt them for yourself and your own needs, please like go ahead, put the stuff up here, try to make some money. I respect the hustle for sure. And the last place that you can sell things is to existing clients or to brand new clients just by way of posting on social media or creating content. Clients will come to you. You can do outreach to them. So just finding new clients just by way of kind of putting yourself out there, showing how you build, building in public, and just kind of showing the systems. People will come to you. This has been happening to me a lot lately. Clients will just reach out to me. They'll DM me on LinkedIn. I had someone just message me today asking if I can do a build for them. And we're going to talk, you know, on Tuesday, today, Sunday. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you posted. So let me show you the systems that you can have. This first one is a two-parter. So you basically get a little bonus right off the bat. This is one of the most valuable systems out there. Literally every single client needs this. This is just what's called a RAG knowledge base. And basically this is just a way to store your client's knowledge, every single thing that they know and want to have access to. This is how you can store it in a place that's fast and accessible. This is great if they want to create like a chat bot for like support or if people are coming to them with like the same questions over and over again, like they can use this information that exists to create this. Uh, you can use this just to answer and respond to emails. That's what I've personally been doing. Like if brands come to me and they want sponsorships or new businesses email me, I already have a lot of the answers to their questions stored in a knowledge base that I just access. So this is a two part of that writes to the knowledge base both from a YouTube link that will scrape the transcript and post to YouTube, or also from a Google Doc if you just have a bunch of information in text format. And then here, this is just a little simple rag agent that will just call the chatbot, which is basically just like, ah, oh, you type to it and it'll bring answers for you. Now, before I show you the next two, let me show you where you can get access to these systems. So you can get access to every single thing that I built inside the school community. Don't take my word for it. This guy said he sold a full AI setup off a freaking YouTube video. He says, I watched two of Duncan's videos, bought the blueprints before there's even a school group. Uh, and he went on and sold them. You can see down here, he sold it for $2,000 setup fee, $250 a month ongoing retainer every single month for the rest of the year. He booked $4,750. And it's actually more of that, more than that, if you count the retainer for a single year. So literally everything is available here uh, inside my school community. We have step-by-step -step tutorials. You can see it's a community of, of real humans who have tried out all these products and we have you know, tons of automations for make that an N8N inside the classroom here. So you come inside of here, you basically just gra grab the blueprints and you import them and you can start using with them today. The next automation that I'm gonna walk you through is this RSS feed scraper. This is super powerful. Every client I know right now is wanting to like automate some sort of social media and they need sources. They need information for how they can do that. So this is set up to basically scrape RSS feeds, which are just like a giant list of news articles related to, you know, their niche or their topics that they like to talk about. And it basically summarizes the articles and it stores them inside of a database that looks just like this. And this gives their clients, uh, your clients, complete control over what content they're writing about and what they're publishing about. They can go in here and they can select, you know, which types of channels they want to write for. They can select if they want to create an image, yes or no. And I'll make sure that along with everything else, 
and you know all the NADN workflows and things like that, you'll also have access to this knowledge base that I've already completely built out with all this kind of this long social post, basically database, a way to scrape and get keywords all inside of here, all your writing prompts for all the different social media channels, and even some brand guidelines that you can use to basically create your own tone of voice and things like that for your writing. So clients love this type of system that gives them control. It allows them to insert their brand voice and their personality, and it allows them to talk about the subjects that they want to talk about. And it also allows them to capitalize on trends, current events, what's going on in the news right now. So they can put their own personal spin on stuff that other people are talking about, which is exactly how you go viral. That's exactly how you get a lot of eyes on you and become seen as like an expert in your field. So this is a really powerful automation uh, that I've personally sold to clients for thousands of dollars along with this third one which is a linkedin automation basically anyone who is a professional right now like linkedin is the place to be if you're not posting on linkedin i highly recommend it this automation basically is a follow-up to the rss feed once you have all of those news sources and articles this ai agent will basically take those sources and it'll write everything for you in your own tone of voice it'll basically go down one of two different routes if you need an image or not and then on a schedule you set it'll actually publish to linkedin so you can have fresh content every single day completely on autopilot without you needing to sit behind the computer and manually type away at everything so let me show you how this first one works let's get into the knowledge base and again every single client needs this this is basically just like creating a clone or a second copy of themselves. And so this is based off of another little Airtable database. This one's really simple. I honestly only use this to trigger the automation. So like it's not the prettiest thing, but it's super, super effective. And so basically all you need to do is you can just copy and paste a link from a YouTube video or a link to a Google Doc and the automation will do the rest. So I'm just gonna go ahead here. I have this video about the LinkedIn system that I literally just shared with you. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy this link and I'm gonna paste this in here. And just like as all you need to do and on the other hand i also recently updated my about section to talk more about ai and automations on my linkedin so i want to make sure that my knowledge base has access to that too so i'm just going to go ahead and paste this inside this google doc and we can just call this that's fine we can just call this you know duncan rogoff about or something like that it doesn't really matter if you are using google docs make sure that you just change the share settings to anyone with the link uh, has editor access so I'm just going to change that and I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to come back in here and I'm just going to paste this in. So now what you can do is we can basically go through this flow. This first one here uploads all of your information to your knowledge base. So I'm just going to go ahead and test this out. And you can see here it's grabbing our Google Docs and it's going to store this inside of our Pinecone vector knowledge base. This makes accessing the information really fast and easy. We have these kind of knowledge base here in Pinecone. You basically get two gigabytes of like free data, which is excellent. I've used 0 0.0029 gigabytes because it stores them in these super, super teeny tiny files. You can basically come in here and you can see all of the entries for all of my YouTube videos and things like that, which is basically a clone of me. And you can see here, this is running through. This, this basically grabbed all the information from a Google Doc and it grabbed all of the information from our YouTube transcript and uploaded this straight to the knowledge base. So the second part of this is calling the knowledge base. And you can just come in here, you can basically ask it about anything we just uploaded, right? And so we can say, like, what are some of the brands Duncan has worked for, right? So this is gonna go ahead and it's going to search that knowledge base. And basically you can come in and you can see here that we just kind of had a little, a couple things up here that says, Duncan has experience crafting stories for iconic brands like Apple, PlayStation, Nissan, and Charles Schwab, et cetera, right? So if we come in here and you can go ahead and see that this, it basically just copies and pastes this exact thing, right? So it went through this knowledge base and just says, Duncan has worked for several iconic brands, including Apple, PlayStation, Nissan, and Charles Schwab. So that's pretty cool. And if we wanted to get information, like we could say like, you know, how many TikTok followers does he have? Right. And so you can see how powerful this is that if you have a client who has a lot of information, this can just go ahead and they can search it up really quickly. And so now it basically knows all this information that we've given it. And basically we'll just grab this over time. Or if we wanted to ask it something about the YouTube video, we can say, how can I automate LinkedIn? Right. Which is basically uh, the video that we uploaded. I add an extra T on there, but hopefully that it's OK. And it basically understands what we're trying to ask it. Right. These systems are really, really smart. So, again, you can see how any client really would want to have access to this. Right. And you can come in and we can see here that this basically says uh, you can automate LinkedIn by using tools like N8N, which helps create workflows for various tasks. Uh, you can fetch viral news stories. You can research and write posts. You can publish automatically. You can generate AI images. And so basically this is pulling from all of the information that I talked about in that video. I was just pulling from the transcript. And so you have access to this information.
The second flow is this RSS feed scraper, right? And basically all you have to do is just input the URLs from your RSS feeds straight up in here and you can go ahead and you can click test. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna search through every single one of those feeds and it's gonna grab the content of the article. And this is gonna create a summary for every single article that this goes through. And it's just gonna store this in this database, right? So we can go ahead and we can see here that we have a few new articles that just popped in down here at the bottom. So AI agents are here, so are the threats. Unit 42 unveils the top 10 AI agent security risks, right? And so if you wanted to make content on this, now you basically have a source that's current, it's contemporary, it's fresh, it's ready for you to put your own spin on and start publishing content on that. It also brought in another article, OpenAI rolls back GPT-4 update to fix ChatGPT personality and issue. And basically the issue is that ChatGPT is kind of being like too friendly and like flattering of the users and people are really frustrated. They just want to like a straight, like direct, clear response. And so OpenAI said that it's going to roll back the latest update of 4.0 to kind of fix some of the personality issues that it was having. And basically this automation is great because it gives you a headline, it gives you a summary, and you can even click a link and it just opens up the original article that this Kate that the story came from so that you can go ahead and you can basically read through all of this yourself if you want to know more. And then from here, all we have to do in order to write this and call the third automation, which you can sell is we can just come in here and we can say, okay, we want a Twitter post and we want a LinkedIn post. And yes, I want to create an image for this, right? Cool. And so you can just run this automation here. And what it's basically going to do is it's going to search through your Airtable record. And the first thing it's going to do is it's actually going to do research for you. So if we come in here into the system prompt, you can see it's going to search for recent statistics and data, case studies and real world examples, expert opinions and quotes and competing content analysis and common questions. So the reason that we want to do this is that we're actually enriching the data and the content of our posts and the quality of our posts, right? Because otherwise the system is basically just going to be like spitting out the same news article uh, that already exists, but we want to find additional information that maybe wasn't present in that news article to just kind of like you know, increase the quality of what it is that we're going to be posting about. So then we just send it over here to the researcher and you can see this basically has all this additional information about ChatGPT reaching 400 million weekly active users, which is insane. That's more than the population of the United States. It's pretty crazy. Over 80% of Fortune 500 companies have integrated ChatGPT into their workflows, et cetera, et cetera. And so now we can actually write a really full and complete post. From there, this is getting personalized with a couple of writing frameworks that I will make available to you. They're inside of the community. They're also inside of here in this node. It's the problem agitate solve framework that starts with a strong attention grabbing conviction statement. It elaborates on the consequences or negative outcomes, and then it solves it. It shares the realization or solution you discover. And so there are basically four of these frameworks that I have in here. You know, story insight action is another one. Right. And so it basically grabs one of these frameworks and then it actually pulls from the same database to get those brand or tone of voice, tone of voice guidelines that I showed off here. So, again, if you're selling these systems to a client, like they love having this level of control and personalization where they can come in here and it's like put their own tone of voice inside of here. And basically the system will grab that every single time it runs through and creates, you know, new LinkedIn posts for this. And then we just send it to a writer which basically has a system prompt, a little bit of text, and some information about the story, right? So the system prompt basically just feeds it the framework, which is that, you know, insight impact recommendation framework here. Uh, and then here it just basically goes and said, please craft a LinkedIn post based on the following news story and additional research. And it just feeds in the headline and the summary and the additional research that we gathered. And then all the way down at the bottom, we basically just have the slash prompt uh, this says, please follow these tone of voice guidelines. And you can see here, we basically piped in those tone of, tone of voice guidelines that were coming from Airtable to write the article. And the last thing we're doing is we're just kind of splitting it up. And it's basically saying, all right, like, you know, remember early in the beginning, we basically selected like if we want an image created, yes or no. And if we say yes, it's going to go down this top route and it's going to write an image for us. And if it, we say no, it's going to go down this bottom route and it's just going to you know, update the record in Airtable with just the text. And so if you come back in here, basically what we have is now we have this LinkedIn copy in this really nice format. And we have this cute little image that ChatGPT, the new image model generated for us as well. So we're getting really high quality images out of this system. So basically you can see OpenAI's recent rollback of the GPT 4.0 update emphasizes a crucial insight. AI authenticity matters more than flattery. When ChatGPT started delivering overly agreeable responses, it compromised its core function, providing genuine, helpful interaction. And then it goes on to basically list the implications of this. 
and what OpenAI has done to address these challenges. And so this is something that's basically ready to go. But again, this is really powerful because now the client has control. They can make edits inside of here before deciding to post this to LinkedIn and kind of putting this out to the world. So again, if you want access to either the knowledge base, the RSS reader, or this LinkedIn automation, everything is available inside my school community. I'll leave a link in the description where you can join and I hope to see you over there.